This is uh, Canal Street Coffee in Leighton Buzzard. Let's go inside, see if there's any signs of life. So, okay, turnover. Scene seven, slate 14, take one. <coughs> Camera set. Action. Brilliant, that's it, cut, thank you. Okay, so we're turning round. Yeah, this is um, obviously a coffee shop, but it's um, bubbling as an airport. So the main two characters um, are heading off to Lanzarote, where most of the story takes place. Someone may be one of you at any point that suits you in this 40 seconds of marvellousness. <coughs> Well, we will give you drinks, but why not one of you get up to get something else before go to the fridge? And if you, if this sort of clashes, if that's what happens, get around each other, why don't you have a look in the fridge and sort of talk back to your friend? I think, yeah, it doesn't have to be the phone, but maybe you're waiting for someone and you're welcome to look at what sandwich you want later. And, and yeah, you're, looking, you're in a good mood, you're looking forward to your holiday. You're in a good place. I certainly am. Okay. Excellent. I think we've got a bit of life going on here now. Fantastic. And it's some. We couldn't afford to film, you know, a, a big airport. Yeah. So, uh, Canal Street Cafe in Leighton Buzzard is uh, posing as a sort of in departure coffee shop in Luton Airport or Stansted Airport, yeah. one of those. Um, and it's just a scene, one of those first times where she has, to, we first time we see her communicate with, she has to write down like, I want yeah, a black yeah, yeah. Americano. Mm -hmm. And a man, we don't know who this man is, but someone offers mm. her the kindness when she hasn't got the right money to say, I'll get this for you. And yeah, she yeah. just says no. We don't yeah, know yeah. why. Mm -hmm. um, but, but and using, it's a little scene like that. But yeah. using someone like this is, is definitely thinking outside the box, yeah. isn't it? Where yeah. other people might go, where, how are we going to film yeah. in that airport? Yeah, and then you go, right. we don't yeah. have to. Yeah, we don't have to. And also this morning we were in a B&B &B in Leighton Buzzard, mm -hmm. a little B&B, &B, the White Horse, fantastic. And our brilliant little art team transformed it into a <clears throat> deliberately grotty uh, Spanish Airbnb. Okay. So a uh, Spanish oh. hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very important. She gets to the room and it is not as advertised in the brochure. Right, sure. So we had yeah, to yeah. like grime something up a bit. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. we just done that this morning. So yeah, Leighton Buzzard is, is rocking it. Yeah. It's on the map. So we did one more of these, then we, the next is the hand, right, Elliot? From this angle. That's right, can't. Is that, Can you show me is what the hand fun? is? I know you, the touch. Yeah. Do you mind facing front, SJ? Just show uh, me what it is. Here. Yeah. Hey. Oh, brilliant. Okay. <laughs> hey, easy, Tiger. <laughs> the scene we're, we're just doing is, is actually the first time that Anne and Bill meet. It's, it's, and what I love as well, like Joe hasn't written you know, a major moment. It's, mm, it's yeah. a passing moment in a coffee shop at one of the London airports I see, um, yeah. where, where the two of them almost just pass each other. There's a tiny mm, mm. act of kindness mm -hmm. that, that is rebuked. Right, sure. Um, but in fact, that is their first meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it sort of tonally sets us off sure, on the right sure. path. Sure, cool. Honestly, it's fine. Let's say it's when... Um, what's the basic plot of the film? It's not an easy elevator pitch, but I'm going to have okay. a go. Okay. That's why I raised the money myself, because I was uh -huh. terrible at getting mm -hmm. other people's. Um, uh, our protagonist, Anne, it has a condition called um, traumatic mutism. Right. It, is, it happens after a, a big trauma sometimes people can't speak for a while mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we don't know what has happened something's happened and she's taken herself away on a cheap holiday just to get some peace and some space all these people trying to help her whatever has happened mm -hmm. she goes on a cheap package holiday thing and instead of peace and beauty and tranquility she finds squalor mm -hmm. danger mm -hmm. and ugliness in on within one night she goes from taken herself away to, to heal, mm -hmm. to sleep in rough. Mm -hmm. Now on the island is a man who is there for very different reasons. He's got some other stuff going on. He's there, he's supposed to be there with his children on the holiday of dreams after an awful divorce, like mm -hmm. first holiday with his kids. He's mm -hmm. gone mad with credit cards to have a, but through trouble with his ex, 
he was not allowed to take his children. So he's in a villa on his own, mm -hmm. and he's seeing this woman wandering around the island with a, with a travel bag, and they end up, these two very damaged souls end up connecting in a way that is so beautiful, and it's, and it's not the classic, it's not a romance, it's not a comedy, it's a mm -hmm. drama, but it's so uplifting and hopeful just about kindness and connection, and yet it feels like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, the scripts that I wrote it, but I don't feel well, like well, I wrote it. Well, what inspired you to write it? We wrote, uh, my wife, Sarah Jane Potts, who stars in the film, she mm -hmm. made a short film in lockdown because we were bored, mm -hmm. and she made this short film called The Magician. I helped her make it, but she made it. Mm -hmm. It's a silent film, 15 minutes. It won every award on earth, and it cost us about 300 quid. It was just a beautiful yeah, yeah, little yeah. short film. Mm -hmm. That was amazing, and then I did a master's degree in screenwriting in lockdown, something to do. Mm -hmm. I've always been blagging writing and I wanted to get better at it. And the first short I wrote for it, she dared me back, basically. Mm -hmm. So well, you've got to make that. And I made my short film called Care, mm -hmm. about a carer who's having a crap time and finds it's, if you help other people, you feel better. Mm -hmm. So those two films existed, we finished them, they did mm -hmm. well, they were fine, Not, I just enjoyed doing them. Mm -hmm. I woke up one morning, about 18 months ago, mm -hmm. I just not, with this entire film, like this, you got out of bed and went and wrote it down like this. Yeah, right, right. And then used my master's degree to cheekily get it really brilliantly mm -hmm. script noted mm -hmm. and that they helped me finish it. Mm -hmm. And um, and then we dared ourselves to do it. The best days we've ever had. We've been actors 60 years between us. Mm -hmm. And we love it, but it, it, it's a funny old business. Whereas we, we didn't, we've waited, 30 years each to wait for permission to be creative on our yeah, own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, we, we just decided we had such fun on the shorts, how can we turn two days of having a great time into mm -hmm. 20? Mm -hmm. That actually was the original impetus. And right, then right. everyone we've shown the script to has got behind it insanely. Weirdly, you don't need to turn around. We know you're feeling it. Or if you do, it's that. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's good. And. Um, it's a, it's a lovely moment. This is uh, Sarah Jane Potts, who plays Anne in the film. I'm just going to ask you some random questions. That's a lot of questions on there. It's not that, that. No, these are for you. They're just yours over there. <laughs> That's for the director. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you have to do any preparation, and, and what so for the role that you're playing? Not particularly, because Anne is a character that's already existed in right. my short film, The Magician. Oh, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. So I think I know her quite intimately okay. at this point. So Can you tell us a little bit about the character? She is a traumatic mute, mm -hmm. so through a trauma that we never is never realised within what we're watching. She has been affected by mutism. We don't know for mm -hmm. how long. Mm -hmm. So, in the magician, when we meet her, the entire short film is silent. Nobody right. talks at all, mm -hmm. and she is um, she is forever changed by a random act of kindness of a mm -hmm. stranger she meets in a park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we did Joe's film Care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he had the idea of having his protagonist from Care uh, meet the protagonist Anne from my film. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. his protagonist talks too much and Anne doesn't talk at all. And it was right, just right. a really interesting concept. And I was really, really interested to explore how long you can actually hold people's attention mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. their connection with a silent protagonist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's just not something that's done too often sure, anymore. Sure, sure, sure. Do I even need to pull that through? No. You won't see it. No, no. Brilliant. Really good, everyone. So, teeny weird notes from me flying in, but over to you first. Can you tell me a little bit about your character? Sure, yeah. He's, um, I mean, it's such an interesting film. He's, <laughs> he's the character who talks in the film. Like, there's one moment with, with Anne where I have to apologise because... I say to her, I'm sorry, you don't talk, and I do nothing but talk. <laughs> and that's what it seems like. He's a, you know, he's an angry, disappointed father of two who mm -hmm. has been denied access to his kids right, uh -huh. for a holiday that they really deserved uh -huh, uh -huh. after a hard divorce. Uh -huh. And he's found himself over in Lanzarote um, in this kind of showbiz villa that uh -huh, he's had uh -huh. to get into debt. Uh -huh. to, right. to rent without the kids right, and the right. ghosts of them mm -hmm. you know every time he looks at the pool he pictures what might have been and mm -hmm. so he's trying to find a bit of peace so what attracted you to the part well Joe's writing is just extraordinary we've known each other 
about 20 years and mm. we worked together as actors and mm-hmm. he just ran this past me and you know I just I felt a connection to that those moments of trying to find a box to put life experience into mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. I think Joe does really well mm-hmm. he shows these characters at a point in, of turmoil yeah. in their lives mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there are choices on front of them yeah, of how yeah. they're going to deal with this. And mm-hmm. I think what he's done with with the script is to to, to 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 show you what happens if you make a really simple, kind choice, mm. yeah, yeah, rather yeah. than yeah. erupt and blame and yeah. get angry or drunk or. Mm-hmm. So that really appealed to me as a as a yeah. fan of my so, so you kind of draw on yourself as it were of course yeah you draw on your own your own moments of frustration and and maybe you know where choices you've made in life mightn't later on have proven to be that beneficial to you sure i saw some of the uh, recce for signs of life on uh, line and joe was talking about how he'd applied the plot points to the film such as die hard to this film which I thought was quite fascinating. So in Die Hard, maybe there's someone like Bruce Willis jumping through a window, but in this film, it's someone like accepting a coffee off someone, but it kind of applied the same principles. Yeah, I'll have a latte, please. Oh, I watched a bit of The Recce. Yeah. And you said something about that you've plotted it like an action movie, yeah. like um, Die Hard or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so Can you this a master's bit? degree, I totally used it, because when I first pitched this to my course leader, a brilliant mm. writer, I just told him the idea. Mm-hmm. I, had, I had one page. Mm-hmm. And he went, oh, God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> God, no, thanks. And I went, really? And he went, it's just nothing happens. Unless you're Goddard, you can't make those films where nothing happens. I went, screw you, was my first response. <laughs> and then I thought, OK, I hated the bit of the master's degree where I had to learn about the Save the Cat beat plot. Mm-hmm. All that. I was like, oh, no. I thought, OK. I'm going to apply the kind of die-hard action movie mm-hmm. beat sheet mm-hmm. to this beautiful film about two little lost souls finding a bit mm-hmm. of connection. Mm-hmm. And it just worked. It right. meant that my, my third draft went woof, because where a helicopter would crash to change this, you know, whatever in that thing, mm-hmm. it was her finally saying yes to someone asking if they can get her a cup of tea. And it, oh, it yeah, feels yeah. like an explosion in mm-hmm. this film mm-hmm. and it follows that same graph all the you know all is lost bit da, da, da. it follows the exact thing and people have said reading this they can't stop turning the page oh, and that yeah, is yeah, all yeah. credit to Falmouth yeah, yeah. University master's degree in screenwriting <laughs> what sort of attracted you to to the part really I know you've done the short film and that sort yeah. of stuff and uh, oppo- so just sort of make it sort of expand it or be part of this creative team yeah and yeah to, you know we are endeavouring to create a different future of filmmaking. We're growing our own work. We're doing sure. it the way we want to do. We're doing it independently. Right. We're doing it on our terms with the people that we want to work with. Sure. Why wouldn't you want to yeah. be involved in that? So there's no know? outside people no. telling you, oh, you've got to change this. We retain this our and creative da, da, da. freedom. Right, that's brilliant. And independence, yeah. All right. Do you want to hand me that? Or? Evening. Do you want to hand me that? Or? Right. Oh, you're okay. That was actually a really inspiring visit. Um, I think I'm off to Lanzarote now. Uh, John, have you got the passports? Have you got them? Oh, great. Let's just see if there's any signs of life outside. Very nice. Very nice. We've got the title in Signs of Life at the beginning. In the intro, hang out.